Hello, everyone. It's Kenya Rockma, founder of the Child Support Hustle, author of the Child Support Hustle, and the founder of the Reform Child Support Now movement. I wanted to come on because we've been getting um, emails from people about their loved ones being incarcerated. Uh, they're still locking people up without their due process, uh, the right to due process, which they are not supposed to be doing. Um, before President Obama left office, he passed a bill, uh, and the Department of Justice released a letter. All uh, the the letter was released in uh, March of 2016. I'm not for sure the date, but I'm going to post links here so that. Uh, you guys can go and look up what I'm saying. Uh, they're supposed to give you a right, your right to counsel if you are going to be incarcerated for a debt. They call it contempt of court, we know, but if you're going to jail for that contempt of court, you have a right to an attorney. You are supposed to have an, a hearing to determine if you can afford to pay the child support debt. If you cannot afford to pay, you are not willfully failing to pay child support. Therefore, you have not broken the law, and therefore, you are not supposed to be incarcerated. I encourage people um, to file complaints with the Federal Office of Child Support Enforcement. I also encourage people to contact their local media and make a an issue about when their loved ones are locked up over child support without their due process rights. and without a hearing to determine if they can afford to pay, contact the, the attorney general, contact uh, the local media and make, you know, start making phone calls and sending letters because they're being held, their people are being held illegally. And as far as your license, John, they're supposed to notify you if they're going, before they suspend your license, and if you can't afford to pay the child support, they are not supposed to suspend your license. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have uh, received paperwork from a gentleman, a father, who has a child support case in Franklin County, Ohio. That's where my case was. And um, they had suspended his license and he went to prison, which is going to be my second topic. So he's in prison now. So he asked them, told them that he was in prison and they not only reinstated his license, they zeroed his child support payments while he is incarcerated. Here's the letter, the entry from Ohio, and here's the letter from Florida showing that they reinstated his driver's license while he's incarcerated. And I know people are going to say, well, why does he need a license while he's incarcerated? It's about when he gets out. If he has to pay to get his license reinstated that weren't supposed to be uh, suspended in the first place, then that's a whole other debt that he's going to have to pay, not not uh, taking into account the child support arrears, which gives me my, brings me to my second topic. Before President Obama left office, he passed a bill and it went in effect January 19, 2017, that says if a parent is going to be incarcerated for 180 days or more. The state must send notice to both parents to let them know they have a right to request a modification to decrease, if not zero, the child support payments. And that's what this gentleman did. They actually, here's a Franklin County, he's actually charged zero while he's doing his time. He's not being charged any child support. And of course, there's there's people that aren't on board for you know with this because you know they want people to be in debt when they get out of jail. But what different? What, what? How is that going to benefit the child when the parent comes out of prison? They owe twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, and they can't pay because they already have a strike against them because they're a felon. If that you know if they're a felon, they're already going to face hurdles when it's trying to get a job anyway. So. Um, that so if you are facing incarceration or you have one of your people that are in prison right now and they, they're going to be there for more than 180 days, tell them that they can write the child support agency and they will 
by law, they have to decrease their child support payment, if not zero the amount. I'm sure they're working on the arrears too, but I haven't seen or heard anything about what they're doing with the arrears um, as of yet. Uh, your license, again, should not be suspended while you're incarcerated. And if they are suspended and you haven't gotten a hearing to determine whether you can pay the amount that they're asking the arrears, then they are in violation. And that's what we have to do is call these people out on them breaking their own laws. And that's what they're doing. I know <clears throat> I often say and I do believe that the child support system is unconstitutional. It is. But what I really like to uh, advise people, I'm not an attorney, I'm a child support reform advocate, I like to say that, I don't want to get sued. But if you pull, if you get the information that they're putting out to people that they're supposed to be following, and you call them out and say, well, it says right here that you're that A, B, and C, and you're doing X, Y, Z, then they're going to have to do what they're what's one of the books that they're supposed to do and that's not what they're doing right now and these letters that they're you know president obama passing this bill this is significant but because before he passed this they considered incarceration as voluntary voluntary unemployment so now they consider it involuntary unemployment so let's see. Okay, so then <clears throat> that begs another question. If an incarcerated person can have their child support reduced to zero because they are unemployed involuntarily, what about parents that are out here that can't get jobs that are unemployed involuntarily? Why is child support still being accumulated if they can't work? And why aren't these uh, child support orders being calculated on a realistic, as a realistic amount. And that's where you guys have to contact your agency. When your circumstance has changed more than 25%, your income, your unemployed, contact them immediately. They're supposed to review your child support order, provide them proof so that they can go and decrease the amount of your order until you find employment or until your circumstance changes. A lot of times they'll say that they don't have to review it. They don't have to decrease it. It's three years. They're, they only have to do it every three years by law. That's not true. If your circumstance changes, they have to review your child support order. Let's see. Okay. I said I would answer a couple questions. Um, and if I can't get to it, then you can always email me. I want to thank you all for being so patient with me. Um, I've been traveling. We had a death in the family, so I haven't been as active as I usually have. You know, I usually am um, getting back in town and uh, just trying to get myself, get my bearings back together and uh, get back on the fight for reform. So um, please uh, thank you for your patience and please bear with me. If you have a question, you can send it to my email, cshustle, the number one at gmail.com, or you can send a direct message. I will have an assistant coming up in the next couple of weeks, so that'll lighten my burden and um, let me get back to what I like to do, which is help people with their cases and help prepare complaints against these agencies. I do not send the complaints as I used to because when they see my email address, they they won't look at your complaint. Um, so I, if I do prepare it, I'll give it back to the person and let you email it directly because they won't. They, I'm I'm a thorn in their side, so to speak. Probably I've probably been called a lot worse, but I'll just call myself a thorn for now. <laughs> um, and oh, another thing, if you guys could please. Go on uh, to our page and review us. There's a, a tab up there that says you can write a review. If you could do that, give us five stars if, if we deserve it. If not, you know, give us what we what we deserve. We have people coming on here uh, giving us one star. They don't even know what we do here. You know, they say we 
uh, enable deadbeats or whatever, you know, I don't even use that word. I think it's uh, derogatory, but um, if you could, so we can kind of balance out their negativity with uh, what we really do here, which is try to help parents, advocate for parents, and fight for child support reform. We know that system is unconstitutional, but we have to do it the right way so that we can change these laws. So let me see. I don't want to forget anything. I think that's it. So I thank you all so much. We reached 40,000 supporters. Coco. Coco. What's that? Coco. I'm sorry. My dog is vicious. She's like that. Vicious. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, there's 40,000 supporters this week, so I want to thank you all uh, very much. Please share our page, share uh, our website with your friends and family. Please sign the petition. I'm still waiting on DC to give us a call so we can uh, hopefully get there and find out what uh, programs they want to pass. Um, I think that's it. Uh, keep fighting. The holidays are coming up and we know this can be a depressing time for parents that are alienated from their children. So please, um, whether you on here or wherever, call and check on your family members, your friends, come on here, talk to one another and let's get through the holidays. Um, remember they can ignore one. They can ignore hundreds, but they cannot ignore thousands. Thank you all so much. Let's go.